Hi, 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 hi. Was that the correct number of highs? I'm not sure. So one more. Hi. So this is Bernie again from San Diego with the latest episode number nine of our Freedom Casts. Ansel Freedom Casts. And this one is about creating your own templates, which is cool stuff. So I'm going to show you how it works. So this is our latest Ant-Man. Go to the About page. We are on Ant-Man 0.4.0. So make sure you have that release. Um, you see our big Ansel here, eight CPU cores and 64 gigs of ECC RAM. Um, we've worked with this Ansel in uh, Freedomcast number eight. Um, but for today, we go back to our small Ansel. It just has four CPU cores and eight gigs of RAM. So, and this is the one that we used for the early freedom casts, number one, two, three, four, five. So, um, you might recognize one of these antlets, some of these antlets here. We used them in, in the earlier freedom casts, one of which is the MK Docs. So, um, let's see the details of our MK Docs antlet. It was created October 25th from the template Debian LXE. Uh, we already have uh, three uh, snapshots here. So um, what are we gonna do? We create a new snapshot. So the third one was called Tres, which is Spanish. So let's give the fourth one a German name, Fear, which is just the German word for the number four. So we've created this one here, the, uh, and we have a nice uh, notification up here. And the snapshot has been created, and we just click on the new template button which means we can create a new template and we can give a name here and I'm going to call it mkdocs. So this is our mkdocs template. Create template. Yep. Template is created. It's all instantaneous. No long waiting. So compare that with Amazon Web Services when you want to create a snapshot or anything. You wait ages. And here with Ansel, it's all instantaneous. It's absolutely awesome. All right, so we have that snapshot and from this snapshot, we've created our own template. We've named that template mkdocs. And when we go to the new antlet now, here we see the mkdocs. So that's our new template. And we create an, ant an antlet from it. Let's call that antlet new docs, okay? So this is our new docs antlet um, and we just created, it has uh, IP 10.1.1.18. So now, and let's start it also. All right, started. So let's look at our terminal. Um, I've logged into myansel.local, and from there, I'm logging into the mkdocs antlet. And you see the mkdocs antlet has a special um, banner here when you log in, and it has mkdocs as the host name. All right, and when I now, I log off, okay, I'm back to my Ansel, and now I do an SSH 10.1.1.18 to log into the new docs. Okay, and SSH is asking me to confirm the fingerprint of that new host, I say yes, and wow, now you see we have that same banner here, mkdocs, and we have the mkdocs host name, so it's a complete copy of this mkdocs thing, so, we can now create mkdocs endlets from, from our own template. So we don't have to start from, from a naked Debian all the time. We can use a Debian and then install something, in this case, mkdocs, then take a snapshot, then create a template from it. And from that template, we can create as many endlets as we want. So this is really, really cool stuff. And of course, the same thing will work with your LAMP stack, which is probably a very a very good use case, right? You just install your own LAMP stack, your PHP, Apache, MySQL, create a snapshot, make a template from it, and then create as many LAMP endlets as you want. So we feel that is really cool stuff. In case you like this video, please don't forget to leave a comment just under the video, just down here. Yeah, you can click there and uh, please leave nice comments and like the video. All right, until next time, bye.